As anyone who's braved the January sales can tell you, just because something is priced cheaply does not actually mean you want to own it. This, however, is frequently forgotten by professional investors, some of whom have this week been trumpeting the UK's FTSE 100 index as a compelling opportunity for bargain hunters. The FTSE's depressed earnings multiple and the potential for recovery in those earnings combine to offer what the Funhouse GAM calls a potent cocktail for the long-term value investor. But does it really? The idea of value investing is a frequently abused concept in modern finance. When strategists or quants refer to value, they are more often than not trying to pin their opinions on simplistic metrics such as price to book and earnings multiples, rather than conducting detailed bottom-up assessments of how accurately the price the market is offering for security today actually reflects the intrinsic worth of the business that issued it. So can anyone buying the FTSE 100 today in local currency truly get a handle on what the index should be worth, based, for example, on its members' assets or long-term earnings power? Owing to the well-documented number of US dollar-earning companies in the FTSE, its post-Brexit performance, when priced in pounds, has mirrored that of the value of the British currency versus the greenback. Before Brexit, the FTSE's performance was highly correlated with the performance of commodities due to its large weighting of oil and mining companies. As such, the outcome of buying the index today in local currency will be decided not by the underlying earnings of its member companies, but instead far more on the US dollar continuing to appreciate against the British pound. And for US dollar denominated investors buying the FTSE, and these investors have already missed the currency fueled rally which occurred after the Brexit, the fate of their investment is most likely to be dictated by the vagaries of the commodities markets. As such, buying the FTSE 100 index today is the precise opposite of value investment. The success or failure of this trade has little to do with assessing the intrinsic value of its member companies and is far more actually a punt on the US dollar, copper and oil. For those who wish to speculate on these markets, there are far cleaner ways to do so than by using a stock market index.